Hey everybody, welcome back to another NASCAR broadcast here today. This is the NASCAR Freak and this is the 6th review of 2023. And I got two NASCAR Capricorn Truck Series diecasts from this past year. Chase Elliott's HendrickCars.com Chevrolet Silverado and Matt DeVilletto's Rackley Chevrolet Silverado that he raced during the season. And very, very nice truck diecast I got right here. Uh, these are the only two so far for the Truck Series from last year that are made. Uh, they were made uh, this past month, basically, and uh, I finally got them here uh, for the 2022 collection I have. And uh, hopefully so, they can continue making Truck Series diecast, but really the pace that they made them, they should have made these during pretty much last year, but uh, I guess the, uh, the supply didn't have enough. But I'm glad I got them now. So let's get these truck diecasts open out of the boxes and get these truck diecasts reviewed. And we're going to start off with Chase Elliott's HendrickCars.com Chevrolet Silverado. So here's the 2022 Chase Elliott HendrickCars.com Chevrolet Silverado. And unfortunately with the molding, it did not change. It is still the same universal mold for the trucks. But uh, it looks really good on die cast as well. We're going to go ahead and take a look at it right now, starting with the front. Here it is right here. Here's the Chevrolet Silverado nose right there. As you guys can see, they did update the... Um, the noses and stuff on the Chevrolet Silverados and such like that with the decals, but not with the mold. Um, Hendricars.com on the hood. Camping on the windshield banner there, as you guys can see. Here's the left side right here. Here's the roof. Elliot's on the back windshield banner there, and you guys can see there is the... Uh, the big Napa logo on the truck bed, and then here is the back. Hendricars.com. Here's the right side of the diecast here, same size as the left. If you guys are looking to pick up this paint scheme or pick up this Chase Elliott truck diecast, I recommend you guys to do so. Um, on Circuit Bay Diecast, unfortunately, it is being sold out. I think this is right now what this truck diecast sold out a lot. Um, just um, be very careful. On eBay, if you're gonna look for it there, uh, make sure you guys do not uh, buy it from some scalper because that'd be really bad. But uh, I recommend you guys to get this diecast. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, the Truck Series diecasts are very, very hard to find, uh, especially with the 1990s trucks. But man, really, really nice that we have uh, 2022 trucks basically be made. Uh, hopefully, with the rest of the drivers, they will be made as well. But we're gonna go into the final diecast, which is gonna be on the Matt Bedetto, Rackley, Chevrolet, Silverado. From Matt Bedetto. So here's the final diecast in this review. It's going to be on the 2022 Matt Bedetto Rackley Roofing Chevrolet Silverado from Rackley War Racing. Very, very nice diecast. Uh, Rackley War Racing actually has also a late models program that they actually have for some of the young drivers. But uh, meanwhile, I digress on that. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this diecast very closely. Like I said earlier, uh, it's on a universal mold, so there's no Chevrolet or Ford or Toyota, you know, separate molding here. Um, but there is the uh, Chevrolet Silverado nose, Rackley roofing on the hood, camper gold as well on the uh, windshield banner, as you guys can see. Here is the left side right here. By the way, Matthew Bedetto did get a win at Talladega with this paint scheme as well, finished uh, beating up Brett Holmes. Here's the roof right here. Dividendetto on the back of Winston Bender there, as you guys can see. Chevrolet and War Shocks feel the grip on the truck bed. And here's the back, at hashtag Rackley. And here's the right side of the diecast here, same size as the left. And if you guys are looking for the method of the diecast, I recommend you guys to get it. Sorry, I might have said that way a little bit too fast there. But uh, that is it for this diecast review. Thank you guys for watching, and then make sure you guys uh, like and comment, subscribe, uh, basically for more. Uh, I know the the last one I did was very, very short. I wanted to basically try something and see if it was going to really turn out to be good, but uh, it was all right. But um, that's just kind of whenever I'm in the mood to not really talk, but uh, just wanted to try it out for you guys. If I actually do that again, I might, uh, probably just with one car if I get whatever, but... Uh, but that's it. That, this is it basically for this review. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Signing out and God bless.